stopping leaks from pressure relief valves. If a leak is between the valve and the mounting plate below the valve, tighten down alternately on the stud nuts, one, three, two, four. If the leak is a liquid leak coming through the discharge orifice of the pressure relief valve, this indicates that the tank car is liquid full and some of the liquid must be removed or transferred into another suitable container. If the tank pressure is below the valve setting and gas is leaking through the discharge orifice of the pressure relief valve and the valve is an internal style with a spoke top guide and the springs and other parts extend down through a hole in the cover plate into the car, replacing the O-ring that sealed the valve will probably stop the leak. Caution. Conducting this procedure may be hazardous depending on the material in the tank car. Maintenance personnel should be carefully trained before being permitted to perform the following procedure on a pressure relief valve mounted on a pressurized tank. Remove the top seal wire. Remove the four top guide nuts and situate them so they won't be lost. Mark the top guide and body with a vertical line to allow the top guide to be reinstalled in the same orientation. Pry up and remove the top guide. Put a wrench on the flats of the O-ring retainer and another wrench on the top lock nut. Hold the retainer in place to prevent it from rotating while backing off and removing the top lock nut. Caution. Replace retainer. Replace the retainer with the retainer in the kit that has epoxied O-rings. If valve leakage continues, cap the valve with a cover can. Warning. O-ring replacement should only be done by trained personnel with proper replacement O-rings. Remove the retainer and look carefully for nicks, rust, scale, solidified product, and other foreign material on the valve seat. The O-ring makes its seal on the top of the crown of the valve seat and on a small area on the outboard side past the top of the seat. Use emery paper, 400 grit, to clean this surface. Then wipe away any loose residue. Visually inspect this surface to detect any irregularities that may still be there. After cleaning and confirming that the valve seat area is clean and free of defects, apply a small amount of lubricant to the exposed thread of the valve stem. We provide retainers for our valves with O-rings already glued into the retainer to prevent them from coming out during installation under pressure. Install the new O-ring retainer and secure it with the top lock nut. Take care to prevent rotation of the retainer using two wrenches. Install the top guide and secure it with the four guide nuts.